Hi ladies and gentlemen, back again, Bathrobe Chronicles number 129. I want to cover several things on this one. Uh, first off, I'd like to mention, I think we, I'll, I'll, I'll use the we on YouTube and, and put myself in there. We have these things called shout outs. <clears throat> and I guess that's where you want to bring attention to uh, another channel or another person on YouTube. And uh, this is my first one of those. And I would like to uh, mention, excuse me, Byron Tulsa. B-Y-R-O-N-T-U-L-S-A. And that, that is his channel. And I can't remember how I happened across this gentleman, but I think you'll find it interesting. Uh, he's got several uh, videos up. I think he was up to three the last time I checked. And if I'm not mistaken, what he's trying to say is, he's not trying necessarily to get rid of the Republican Party, if I'm listening to him and, and accurately interpreting what he's saying. Uh, what he's trying to do, I think, is at a minimum bring to your attention these whack jobs and the, uh, what do they call that, the Tea Party? Gee whiz. Have, have any of you listened to any of these morons? Um, anyway, Byron, you, you should check in. And the other thing I really like about his website, or his channel, excuse me, is it's in black and white. He has a really cool hat, and whoever or whomever is doing the video work is great. In other words, it's not static like I am, just sitting here like a dork talking. You know, Brian's all over town, and he's got this really cool hat, and it's black and white. Anyway, again, Take a look. Boy, I'm getting rusty at this, I'll tell you. Excuse me. Uh, take a look. It's B-Y-R-O-N-T-U-L-S-A. I think you'll really uh, in enjoy what he has to say. As I said, I don't think he's really saying, hey, let's get rid of the Republicans. He's saying, hey, these Tea Party people are pretty darn bad, which they are. Anyway. As I said, there's just going to be a couple on this, and uh, you know how people talk about natural. In fact, the other day, I think I did one on uh, natural. You know how everybody says, oh gosh, it's natural. Oh gosh, we really need that. It's organic. It's this. You know, so I don't know if you can. Um, I have a production assistant. Are you able to see what that says? Can you read that? Okay, did you folks see that? This is, <laughs> hey, not only is this natural, yet you, you, you got the Indian thing in there and, and no telling what else is going on. But uh, folks, <clears throat> I'm smoking a cigarette that's natural. Does that mean it's okay? Uh, you know, you. it has to be. It's natural. Come on, it can't hurt me. So I think from now on I'm going to switch and go to these American spirits. You see it has an, uh, seemingly an American Indian on there. So I'm sure this is like great from uh, many standpoints. Uh, but I just thought I would mention the natural part. I really like that. The other thing I wanted to mention was this, and, and I wish I could take credit for this, and I can't. I can't. Uh, but somewhere I, uh, someone had mentioned that the really neat thing about homeopathic medications is all you have to do is buy them once. What do I mean? Well, what did that person mean by that? This isn't mine. Uh, what did they mean by that? Well, it's simple. You know about homeopathic. Uh, the more you dilute it, the stronger it gets. So why would I say that all you have to do is buy the medication, so-called, one time? It's simple. You open the medication, you open it, and you need to use it. So what are you going to do? Take two or three drops out or however much and put it in some more water mix it up and take it. Then what you do is you put more water in the bottle and shake it sideways. I think they call that succussion or something. Shake it sideways or something. So what you have is now you have even a better medication, more enhanced, because it is diluted more, which, of course, if you go by what those folks say, it becomes stronger, more potent. The more you dilute it, the stronger it becomes. Uh, Anyway, uh, I guess that's it for this segment. And uh, as uh, but and, and go take a look at, at Byron's place, Byron Tulsa, T-U-L-S-A, B-R-B-Y-R-O-N-T-U-L-S-A. 
Anyway, that's it, folks, for this segment. Thanks so much. And as Pat Condell would say, peace, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.